Here we have a checklist on how to clean an LDS meeting house. Let's begin with restrooms. Cleaning restrooms. Let's check our cart and make sure we have our gloves, our disinfectant, our bowl cleaner packets, glass cleaner, bowl mop, heavy-duty disposable towels, duster. Now we're ready to begin. When putting the bowl cleaner packet into an automatic flushing urinal, you'll need to put it in at an angle that won't cause the urinal to flush. It's important that the packet be left so that it can start to dissolve and disinfect. The Rollmaster dispenser is designed to hold two rolls of toilet paper. Using the dispenser key from the cart, we open up the dispenser from the top and then be sure to replace the key back on the card. We lift up and take off the bottom empty roll. Remove the outer paper from the top roll. Place the top roll on the bottom spindle and make sure that it moves freely. Place it part way back in, we get our new roll. Notice the arrow, that's the way we load it. We remove the outer paper from the new roll and there will be less paper to pick up off of the floor later. It's important that the new roll be put in properly. Caution. Do not load with paper coming from underneath. Dispenser will not drop the roll if it is placed in that way. You want it coming over the top, which is probably just the opposite of the way we do it at home. The roll tile dispenser should be opened and checked no matter what the outside indicator shows. If empty, remove the cardboard roll, bringing the new roll out, you release the glued ends and you make sure that it is rounded, for it's important that the circle and the grooves are in a rounded position or they will not fit onto the two spindles. towel should spool from underneath. Place it in, making sure that the roll towel is on both spindles. Check it to make sure that it moves freely. Pull a little bit of the paper out so that we can get it started. Switch the gear to engage the newly loaded roll towel. Get it started. Then switch gear back to engage the previous row so that we can use the oldest one first. Now you need to make sure that the red indicator is facing in and not showing outward. It's not the way we want it. We want the white to show. Check it. Make sure that it's working. 
check the hand soap dispenser by opening it from underneath. The release is found directly underneath. You press it upward, presto, it opens upward. If needed, this is how you replace the hand soap. Watch carefully. If your building has the foam soap dispensers, push upward on the release lever underneath. If empty, which this container isn't, snap outward to remove. Take off the spout cap of the new unit and line up spout with the grooves and snap inward. Some buildings may supply different cleaning chemicals. Butcher's Charge is an excellent toilet bowl cleaner, but it requires knowing how to safely use it. You need to read the directions for the use of it, and you also need to be aware of precautions. Right at the top, it warns to keep out of the reach of children. Also, there are first aid actions to take place if it gets in your eyes or on your skin. The diaper pail should be wiped out with disinfectant as needed. The dusting of high places should include along the lights, along the top of the stalls, and the heat vents. Disinfectant and window cleaner are used in the restrooms.
A sponge would also be good for getting the grime out of the sink bowl and counters. Use window cleaner for mirrors. Do not use disinfectants on the mirrors, as the streaks will be very difficult to remove. Bathroom cleaning should include disinfecting railing bars, the various dispensers, baby changing stations, stall walls, garbage lids, and the hardware. We use disinfectant concentrate for the bathroom floors. Two ounces concentrate to one gallon of mop water is the right ratio. If you use more, it won't disinfect any better, but it will leave a film on your bathroom floor. Use hot water. Sweep and pick up all paper on the floor before mopping. Start your mopping at the farthest end and work your way out of the bathroom. It's important to rinse the mop thoroughly after being used in the bathroom or the kitchen or the cultural hall floor. Rinse it out, wring it out thoroughly. And do not leave mop water in the bucket. Rinse the bucket and the sink out. If this is not done, you soon have a very smelly closet. <laughs>